On this video, I'm going to be going through the ICOM IC7300, how to set that up for WSJTX. Uh, it's very easy, quick and simple. I'll show you the settings that I use in my ICOM. And then I'll move on to WSJTX itself and show you how to set that up so that you can get on the air as soon as possible. Okay, so like I said, I've got my IC7300 already set up on WSJTX. So it's relatively simple to show you the settings that I use and the ones that you need to change in a fresh out of the box IC7300 that you've never used on digital before. So uh, if we have a look here, um, I'm just on 40 meters. If you click menu, that brings up the menu. Now we need to go to the set menu and you've got uh, these various uh, sub menus here, but the only one that we really need to go into is connectors. So from let's just, just start from the top. So uh, most of these uh, aren't really relevant because uh, we're using the, uh, sorry, well, they are relevant. We're using the USB output from this radio. So uh, these levels are just sort of, you can adjust the levels here in the radio, but I like to leave these all by default uh, set to what they are. Um, because we can adjust it in the computer later on. So just um, have a look at those settings and just compare them with what you've got. Um, I don't think I've ever changed anything in that. Uh, same two here, all of these are the same. Now, uh, data off mod, what that means is, is when you're not using a data mod, so data off modulation, so uh, when you're not in a data mode, it's going to use the microphone or the accessory socket by default. So what that means is that when you're in a, uh, when you're not in a data mode, uh, it'll use the front microphone or the accessory socket. Uh, data mod, so that's data modulation. So this is where it's picking off the audio for data. So what we've got is I've got that set to USB. You'll probably find that you'll have this possibly set as accessory. Um, I think I had to change this to USB. So that's quite critical. So make sure that you do change that to USB. Uh, this also fixes uh, any issues with if you're transmitting from your computer, you're not going to get any audio coming through your microphone at the same time. Uh, so uh, other settings there, I think uh, they're all they're all fine and they're all standard. Okay, so the next menu that we need to go into is the CIV menu. So if we open that up, I've got uh, my board rate CIV board rate set to nineteen two hundred. Uh, if you go in here, there is also other options. So you've got 4800, 9600, 19200 and auto. I set mine to 19200. CIV address 94H. Uh, the WSJTX software already has the IC7300 listed as, uh, supported, as a supported radio. However, you might need to uh, adjust this depending on if your software does or asks for it. So that's where you can find the CIV address anyway. Uh, CIV transceive is set to on. CIV USB to remote transceive address is, you don't have to worry about that. A CIV USB port unlinked from remote. CIV USB board rate 15200. So that's the critical one which we're going to look at in WSJTX when we go and have a look at the configuration of the software. And, uh, and that's where we set our board rate. So uh, I've got, as I said, I've got mine set to 15200 at the moment. USB echo back is on. And I think that is just about all the settings you require. So let's go over and check out WSJTX and the configuration that's required. Uh, my radio by the f default at the moment is sitting on USB. It's not sitting in any, any data mode. When we go to WSJTX, we'll configure it so that when you change bands in WSJTX, it automatically switches into the correct mode. However, if you do wanna know how to get it out of that mode, you may notice, uh, uh, if we go US, usually it'll be in USB, upper sideband data. If you find that you're stuck in that and you don't know how to get out of it, if you tap on it and you click SSB, it will then go to lower sideband data. So you can get stuck in this data mode. To get out of it, just simply open up that menu and click data and then that will clear that one for you. So let's move on to WSJTX now and I'll show you the configuration in the software. Okay, so we've got WSJTX open at the moment. It looks like there's quite a bit of activity on the bands from uh, on 40 meters this evening. So if we go into file and then settings and then under radio, the, the radio tab, we've got a list of rigs here. Just pick the IC7300 from the list. Serial port is COM4. So what we need to do for that is go into our control panel. So just do a search for control panel and then go into Device Manager. Now under Device Manager, once you've installed the ICOM 
IC 7300 USB driver from the ICOM website. I'll put a link in the description below to uh, where you can download that. You will find once you plug in your, once you install the driver and you plug in your 7300, it will create a COM port, which is very similar to this one, Silicon Lab CP210 uh, X USB to UART Bridge COM4. So, uh, so my IC7300 is currently set to COM4. Now you can open up this list and there's all of the COM ports here, um, but uh, just just check, uh, you can check them one at a time, but I just find it's easier to go to, to the device manager and select the correct one, so COM4. So board rate, you might remember that in our radio before we had, uh, we need to set this to the same as what's in the radio, so 15200 data bits, I've got mine set to 8, stop bit set to 2, handshake to none, PTT method cat. So the radio is triggered, uh, radio's PTT is triggered over cat. Now the mode that we want to set this to is data slash packet. So what that will do is that will change the radio into the data mode uh, when we, when we uh, use WSJT. Uh, if we want to set it back to a voice mode, that's where we go and we tap on uh, the, the mode and, and just press data again and that uh, clears, clears that option. Split mode, we select none and test cat and we get a nice green button uh, to say that the connection has been successful and we, if we click test PTT, it goes red and the radio goes into transmit. So that's about all there is to it. Now if we go and change bands, we can see that we toggle the radio to change bands. Uh, going back to the settings again, the only other settings that we do need to check are audio. So input and output should always be set to the USB audio codec, which is uh, what the sound card is in the IC7300. So if you see these drop down menus here, I've got a few different uh, audio devices, but the one that we want is the USB audio codec. Uh, to set levels, you've got a power slider in WSJTX here. So this is the uh, transmit audio. So basically what you will do is once you uh, hit transmit, you will see, oh, I've got a buzz there. <laughs> so you will see uh, an audio slider. Once you hit transmit, you can then adjust the slider up and down to adjust your output power and ALC accordingly. A uh, good rule of thumb is uh, no, no to little ALC action for uh, the output power that you're getting on the meter. Uh, for as far as the audio in, I always like to open up this sound control and just you've got the little green bar graph here which is in green and basically uh, we open up the microphone tab or the recording tab we find the USB audio codec right click properties levels and then just adjust this up and down accordingly to where we want our bar graph so I usually set mine around about 60 dB or so which is about 50 on the on the microphone meter so yeah, that's uh, that's all there is to it. I hope this video uh, helped you out in setting up your 7300 for WSJTX. If it did, please again, uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And 73, I'll see you in the next video.